Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So before we get into some NHL action for February 13th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section here, which has all the tools that you will need to make your picks. So let's take a look at some of the games. If we have reached the halfway point of the season and things are starting to heat up for the uh, playoff push for the second half, so let's take a look at the games for the day. The Buffalo Sabres and the Montreal Canadiens. The bottom two teams in the Atlantic Division face off in this game. Buffalo is 2-4 and four over their last six, and they have lost their last two, and they are ice cold down. The Canadiens have dead status, and they are 0-5, or actually 0-6. They have lost their last six games. If you notice, uh, the over-under, Montreal has been involved in games over the line five out of the last six, and the Sabres have been involved in games over the line in three out of their last six and in their last game. If you look at the power ranking indicator, neither team is very high. It's, in fact, Buffalo is at plus five and Montreal is at zero. Look at this. They have been zero all the way back since December the 14th, so they are just going nowhere. It's been that way all season. The score predictor has Montreal actually winning this contest, though, by a 3-2 to two score with 71% level of confidence, and that has gone up a little bit since I last looked at this, which was actually 69% just a short time ago. The two teams, as far as the stability factor goes, both teams are consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status at plus 18 for Montreal and plus 16 for Buffalo. The way I look at this game is, as you see, the odds are not currently yet posted because these are games for Sunday, but take a look as, as it gets closer and closer to game time. But right now, I really believe that Montreal will find a way. They will just find a way to end their losing streak. It's got to happen sometime. I have a good feeling about this one. I think it's going to be a high-scoring, close game, but Buffalo will not come away with the win. Montreal will win and bet the over. Ottawa and Washington. Ottawa is third from the bottom in the Atlantic Division, but you notice they're burning hot at the moment, winners of their last two and three out of their last four. While Washington is ice cold down, they're in the middle of the Metropolitan Division. They have lost their last two and are two and four over their last six games. You notice as far as the over-under goes that Washington has been involved in games over the line in five out of their last six, and Ottawa in two out of their last three, and they were under in the three games previous to that. If you look at the power ranking indicator, Washington is at plus 20, while Ottawa is at plus six, so a big discrepancy there. The score predictor has Washington by a three to two a margin of win, but take this in consideration with just the, you know, not very strong but possibility, right? Because it's only 35.7% confidence in prediction. So take a look at that as it gets closer to game time, see if that has changed. Take a look at a power ranking indicator, like we said before. You can see the big difference in 20 to 6. I want to emphasize this again just to see how much better Washington has been at the moment. So this score prediction of uh, 3 to 2. You know, I'm not so sure about that one, but let's take a look at it later on. The volatility oscillator here to see how stable the two teams have been. Ottawa is at plus seven, while Washington is at plus four. You can see they have been up and down as far as their stability factor goes. So they, right now they are relatively consistent according to their favorite underdog status. I actually think that Washington probably will come away with the win here because they are at home. I know Ottawa is burning hot at the moment, but Washington overall is still the better team. I like Washington to win, but this game could perhaps go into overtime, and I would avoid the over-under bet. Pittsburgh and New Jersey. The Penguins enter third in the Metropolitan Division, and the Devils are last in the same division. You see the Devils are coming off of a win. They're 1-5 over the last six. And it was an impressive win, 7-1 to one over Montreal, even though Montreal is very bad. Still, seven goals is an impressive total, and they are dead up at the moment, while Pittsburgh is ice cold up. Breaking a four-game losing streak with a 4-2 win over Boston. You can see that uh, the Penguins have been over in three out of their last five games and four out of their last six. While New Jersey has been over in three of their last six games. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you see Pittsburgh is on a downward track from plus 30 back on January the 27th. And they are now at plus 19. And New Jersey has been stable at plus two over the last... A little over a week. The score prediction has Pittsburgh with a 4-3 win with 54% level of confidence. And that 
changed as far as the score goes. It was 3-2 to two a short time ago in favor of Pittsburgh. Now it's 4-3, so it's looking a little bit more like a prediction going over. And I tend to agree with, with that. I think it will go over the line, and I think Pittsburgh will come away with the win. The last game is Colorado and Dallas. The Avalanche tend to play with the top record in the Western Conference. They're coming off a loss, but they're 5-1 over their last six and are burning hot down. You can see that as far as the over-under goes, they've been trending in games under the line in four out of the last six, while Dallas average at the moment uh, coming off of a loss, and they're 4-2 and two over their last six games, and they have been trending in games over the line. You see four of their last five and five out of the last six games have gone over the line. In the power rankings indicator, you can see Colorado has been steadily at the top since January the 22nd. They are steadying, staying there at plus 31, and Dallas is up from plus 16 to plus 19. Now you can see here, though, that the update, it's been a week ago since this has been updated. This was February 1st, so take that into consideration as well. The stability factor, the volatility oscillator, you can see Colorado has been extremely consistent, plus 22. And they are going to be a favorite in this one as well. I know they're on the road, but I'm pretty positive they were going to be a road favorite. Again, the odds are not yet out for this game. I believe they will be a road favorite. And I do like Colorado to win this game on the road. And I believe it's going to be a nice margin. Uh, maybe a goal, maybe two goals, which would be a nice margin. Which would go against the uh, score prediction. But I really do believe that Colorado has the better team. And they will win this one on the road. So there you have it. Those are the games for February 13th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.